<laughs> Welcome, it's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're gonna discuss the RTX 3070 Ti hash rate, specifically on Ethereum. We've got some good data. It looks like some solid information. Let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll talk about the hash rate, we'll talk about profitability, and we'll talk about whether or not you should buy this card. So without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew! First, let's give credit where credit is due. I got some of this information from Life of a Miner. I verified it, I went and checked it out myself, and it all seems legit. So this is from a website called bilibili.com, which is basically like a Chinese YouTube. And the reviewer first is showing the card. He shows it slotted in into GPU-Z here in the middle of the screen, the RTX 3070 Ti. And then he will get it hashing under stock settings, and then he will get it hashing under some overclocks and see how bad it drops after the limiter kicks in. All right, right here, he fires this thing up on Ethereum under stock settings. Let's see how it does. It starts at 68.8 stock. That's a beautiful hash rate, 184 watts. It's a little power hungry and it plummets, it plummets, it plummets. 40 mega hash is what it finalizes at stock at 185 watts. Now, we're going to jump over into an overclocked setting. He's got plus 1500 on the memory at 80% power. He didn't bring his core clock down, which we usually do bring the core clock down on our 30 series. But this test, he starts out at 80 mega hash. That is a pretty nice high number. And then the hash limiter instantly drains this thing down. Let's see how far it goes down. 205 watts. It's a lot of power. 48, 47, 45. It drops all the way down to 45 mega hash. And you're saying 45 mega hash, that's really not too bad in today's climate, but at 205 watts, that's a lot of juice. That is really bad efficiency. That hash limiter is really kicking this thing down. Okay, so let's recap these numbers and let's discuss profitability and then we'll go into whether we should buy this card or not. So first off right here are the clocks that we had. They ran stock clocks. He had 186 watts out the gate, 68.8 mega hash that plummeted down to 41. Then of course our overclocked again, 208 watts and it was 80 mega hash and dropped clear down to 45 mega hash. So let's take our 45 mega hash at 208 watts watts and let's figure out what kind of profitability that would be 208 watts i'm over on whattomine.com i am only selecting the eth hash algorithm 45 mega hash 208 watts let's calculate this thing and see what we would earn per day as it stands right this moment so i would be making on this card as it stands today two dollars and 85 cents profit per day as it stands on june 9th at 11:30 a.m um, of course, your mileage is going to vary by your electricity cost because initially this is 335 and it's dropping clear down to 285 because this thing is using quite a bit of power and not very efficient. But let's check out how much time it would take us to ROI this card. Two dollars. Let's let's just say we paid 600, and then yeah, let's just do the 600 MSRP, and then let's divide it by our per day earnings after electricity. This card would ROI for me if everything stayed exactly as it is right this moment in 210 days. That's actually pretty solid ROI time. It's not nearly as good as say a 3070 or 3080 or 3090 is gonna be without the hash rate limited. But since we do have the hash rate limited, if you can get these at 600, I, I don't know how you're not going to jump on this. So conclusion, would you buy this? Should you buy this? This card's only gonna run about 5% to maybe 10% over top of normal performance for gaming and for productivity of that of a 3070. But in the mining world, it's actually taking about a 25% cut in mining hash rate from 60 or just over 60 on a 3070 clear down to 45 because it is hash rate limited. Now that being said, if I can get one of these or multiples of these at $600 or really close to MSRP, 
I'm definitely gonna buy them. That ROI time of 210 days is not too bad. That is pretty realistic. That is a pretty good ROI time. I personally am gonna be trying really hard to get one of these tomorrow. Hopefully get one as soon as possible. I wanna take and put it on every algorithm and I wanna get the real numbers for you to show you the actual profitability. I wanna put this thing on Raven, on Firo, on all these other coins and let's see if we can make more than we can on ETH now that only the ETH is a low hash rate. So thanks for stopping in with me. Let's hope that the hash rate is better than we can see here and let's hope that they find a workaround on these cards sooner rather than later. But I wouldn't get my hopes up. I would expect at least a few months for this to be cracked, but it will be cracked eventually because there is millions of dollars at stake. <laughs> Well, there you have it, the Hash Rate Limited RTX 3070 Ti. Still a solid performing card at this $600 price point. If you can get one of these at or near MSRP, it does have a solid ROI time. If you did pick up one of these, make sure to tell us about it down in the comments. Tell us where you got it. Tell us about your journey. We want to know about it. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord or the Hash Raptor Discord. There's always tons of seasoned veterans in there willing to help you out if you like this video you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe for future content thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride Pew.